Pluto, 3.7 billion miles from the sun, just half the size of our moon, a frigid world with temperatures nearly 400 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. It was once called our ninth planet, but no more. It's been demoted. Welcome to Space School. Today's topic, Pluto, was discovered in 1930, the only planet in our solar system to be found in the 20th century. It is also the only celestial body ever to lose planet status. In 2006, Pluto, named for the Roman god of the underworld, was reclassified as a dwarf planet and given a number, 134-340. The discovery of the ninth planet captured the imagination of a world caught in the grips of the Great Depression. Finding a new world in space renewed our own world's faith in science. Its name was suggested by an 11-year-old girl from Oxford, England. She liked the fact that the first two letters of Pluto were the initials of its discoverer, Percy Lowell. Before long, even superstar Mickey Mouse had named his dog after the new planet. But by the 21st century, astronomers had come to the realization that the outer solar system holds many similar objects to Pluto, some even larger. With discovery after discovery of new heavenly bodies, the International Astronomical Union, for the first time ever, set out to define the word planet and Pluto didn't make the cut. They decided a planet must orbit the sun, have gravity strong enough to keep itself in a spherical shape, and must have cleared other objects from its orbital neighborhood, making it the most dominant body in its immediate area. On the third count, Pluto fails. Pluto orbits the sun along the inner edge of the Kuiper Belt, a field of icy meteor-like objects located at the outer rim of our planetary system. Only discovered in 1992, Astronomers have since confirmed the existence of at least a thousand Kuiper Belt objects. Pluto, the ex-planet, is neither alone nor unique. Eris, a dwarf planet, is more than 25% larger than Pluto. At nearly 4 billion miles from the Sun, almost 40 times further than Earth, Pluto is a difficult body to study. But scientists have been able to deduce that it's comprised mostly of rock and ice. The surface is composed almost entirely of frozen methane, nitrogen, and carbon monoxide. Images from the Hubble Space Telescope show few markings or distinct features on the landscape. Because its gravity is so weak, Pluto's atmosphere is highly unstable. Gases do not cling to the surface. Hence, there's almost no greenhouse effect, making this one of the coldest known places in the solar system. The average temperature is about negative 380 degrees Fahrenheit, and given its distance from Earth, Little is known about the climate of this tiny world. A 160-pound man would weigh only 10.7 pounds on Pluto. A year on Pluto, one orbit around the sun, takes 248 Earth years. And despite its small size, a day lasts almost six and a half Earth days. Oddly, as it travels on its 23 billion mile journey, Pluto twice crosses the orbit of the planet Neptune. That means about once a century, Pluto is closer to the Sun than Neptune. For decades, astronomers have known of the moon Charon. Charon and Pluto are so close in size, they are now often dubbed twin dwarf planets. Two additional moons, Nix and Hydra, were discovered in 2005. These new moons are much smaller than Charon and orbit much further from the planet. To date, no spacecraft from Earth has ever reached this distant and tiny world. But that is about to change. In 2006, the New Horizons mission was launched. It's scheduled to reach the icy dwarf planet within 10 to 12 years. What will it find at the furthest reaches of our planetary system? There's no doubt that Pluto and its unexplored neighborhood still have many surprises in store. This is Space School, signing off. Class dismissed.